evening, everyone. Dear Maddie, you brought us happiness and joy. You're in our hearts tonight. I think about you every day, but that's nothing new. When we had our bunk beds, you jump around and fall. I still have your superhero costumes hanging on the wall. Dad would make you oatmeal every single morning. We didn't know you were leaving without any warning. We did, our house is filled with memories and your pictures all in frames. Tonight we gather here to honor Maddie's name. Thank you. Now mine sounds like a poem too, but it's not. <laughs> Mine's called The Power of One. One woman, one man, one daughter, one little sister, one family, one amazing life. One diagnosis, one unforgettable place to say goodbye, one death, one heartbreaking funeral, one family torn apart, one year of bereavement counseling, one new normal, one decision to give back. One Maddie's Supergirl was born, one Maddie's Gala was born. One amazing night of giving back, yes, one night. One ticket and one you. On behalf of myself and my family, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Whether this is your first or your seventh, we promise you a memorable and a heartfelt evening. On year one, we didn't have a goal. We just wanted a memory born. We accomplished that and donated $10,000 back to Rogers House. And we're pretty proud of that. And here we are six years later. And after tonight's event, we will have given over $300,000 back to Rogers House. memory of Little Miss Maddie. We are honored to call each and every one of you in this room tonight our friends. Can I ask you now to please raise your glass to toast yourself and everyone else in this room. Thank you. I forgot my wine. someone know how does anyone explain the death of a child? Janine, Anna, Grandpa and Grandma, Nanny and Prepare, Kurt and Christine, Darren and Leanne. We got robbed. We got robbed of being parents. We got robbed of being grandparents. We got robbed of being uncles. We got robbed of being aunties. And we got robbed of laughter. We got robbed of crying. We got robbed of, robbed of celebrations. And Hannah, you got robbed of having a best friend by your side every day. Yes, our family was, th was thrown a curveball, but it's what you do with that curveball. As you can see tonight, we have survived that nasty curveball. With the support of everyone tonight, we are giving back to our charity of choice, Rogers House. Sometimes, ha sometimes things happen for a reason, but we still don't know our reason. Was it meant for us? I hope not. But we know as a family that we are making a huge difference in people's lives that we may or may not know. Today was an eventful afternoon for me, as, as my neighbors know. I had to pick up a couple of... <laughs> where's Michelle? <laughs> I had to pick up a couple of items from our home. So when I got home, I didn't have a house key and Janine's keychain. So after I, got the key, after I got the key, I picked up what I needed and started back. As I was driving, I realized it was Maddie that made the bellhop give me the keys with no, with no house key. She wanted me to come and see her. She wanted me to tell every, each and every one of you tonight that she was smiling. She said that everyone is a superhero 
and she loves the setup. That's my Maddie, a superhero forever. To end off the night, I want to bring special attention to five super, super, superheroes tonight. Without these five super women, Maddie's gala wouldn't be where it is today. These ladies have put in over 200 plus hours planning tonight's gala. Ladies, I'm so grateful for the commitment, hard work, and perseverance you put towards Maddie's gala. So without further ado, I'd like everyone to give a toast to the super ladies. Ladies, when I call your name, can you please stand up? Ann Brown. Okay, so now I'd like to turn everybody's attention to the slideshow. Thank you very much. Enjoy your evening.